Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Tahoe or Chevy Suburban. That generation that you see here from year 2006 to year 2014. If you have one of those, you have a problem where the windshield wipers do not work, we'll explain what can easily cause that. We'll start by checking a fuse. We'll explain about the relay as well, because it could be just a bad fuse that causes that and why to waste money on parts and diagnostics that you may not even need. We will explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or a Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We'll be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So guys, now, if the wipers do not work, first we'll explain which fuse you need to check, which relay. We'll demonstrate on that Chevy Tahoe here. Chevy Suburban is the same vehicle, it's just longer in the back. They're built on the same platform. You guys have three different fuse boxes in that SUV. And we'll be working, guys, okay, in just, uh, we'll be working in just one fuse box, and that fuse box will be under the hood. Open the hood. Facing the engine on the right side here, you need to remove that cover. Once you open the cover, you find the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look, guys, like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse, right? But uh, it could be guys a bad fuse. Sometimes it's really hard to tell, it's hard to see, you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys, it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad, you may end up spending time, money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need. So always test fuses, it takes only uh, a few seconds. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well. Relays are easy to test, uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys. So check out the links will be in the description of the video below. So the wipers fuse guys, it's a little bit hidden. Oh, by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for Chevy Tahoe, Suburban or any car at a good price, quick shipping, we will put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, that way you do not waste money and time. If you zoom in, you come towards the rear section here, that fuse number 36, which is a 25 amp fuse. That's the wiper fuse next to that relay. It's a little bit uh, out of the way, guys, so that's why most people will ignore checking that uh, fuse, guys. Now, we have multiple relays, but none of those actually are for the windshield wipers. The relay is building function of the body control module. If the wipers do not work, it could be bad windshield wipers motor. We have a video how to test and replace windshield wiper motor on our channels. Or it could be the wiper switch on the steering column, guys. We've seen that happen quite often as well. After detailing, cleaning vehicles or spilling something, okay, it can get wet and it can cause it to malfunction as well. Those are the most common things we see at the garage. Hopefully the video will be helpful and see you next time. 